Hey pizza lovers, it's time for another slice of our Pizza Tower video series. In this second episode, I'm serving up something extra cheesy and delicious as we take a closer look at the game's hit track, Unexpectancy. So grab a slice and let's dig in. Everyone has been commenting, SPG, please check out Unexpectancy 1, 2, and 3. And then I looked at it. It was like, what is this? Nine minutes long? Oh, it's divided in three parts. So I was like, might as well dedicate one whole video just for Unexpectancy. And here we are. <laughs> First time listening to Unexpectancy Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. I have no idea what to expect here. Very much unexpected. A, 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 A. <laughs> For one minute, I thought I was gonna get Rickrolled because of that 80 Tom Tom patch. But also, I love that consistency of the atmospheric type of electric guitar. The bendy electric guitars, the very psychedelic soundscape is still very much prevalent here. Again, still with the catchy melody. Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. More orchestra hits are the best. I really love that synthesizer solo right there. It's very much a standout amidst all these distortion guitars. <laughs> I would say that's like very 90s disco music. I love it. Oh no, 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 actually, I remember the first time hearing this kind of vibe, this kind of sound on one of my favorite guitar players of all time, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. What song was that song? The, the wah, wah, wah. Was that Balls on Parade? Yeah, very, very nice use of that kind of style. Oh my god, and the fact that I associated with, with Rage Against the Machine pretty much solidifies that this soundtrack in itself is very much a tribute to the 90s sound of music. And it's the same thing that I said in part one of the video, check it out here. Uh, oh my god, Baroque style fugue passages. Da -da 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 I'm all for it. Oh my god, I love that soundscape that they just built there and then suddenly go straight to an 80s style drum bass pattern, like reminiscent of the sound of the pitch mode. That is an amazing part one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
let's take a listen to Unexpectancy Part 2. Here we go. That is such a wonderful build up to that line. Oh my God, that Baroque line there, right there. That Baroque style, fugue style melody, but with that droning wah style guitar. Oh my God, what a great build up. Oh my god oh my god sampled voices as melodies what a vibe this oh my god that is was that like a sampled brass band music oh my god what is going on this is this is lovely Wow, I'm such at a loss of words or how to describe even that transition from a more like techno experimental style and now we have a more dance beat metal and oh my god, wow, this is... Oh my god, this is like Daft Punk, Rage Against the Machine, Nine Inch Nails, Had a Baby, and this is how it sounds like. <laughs> it's just like, wow. This is like a total adventurous journey on its own with just the music alone. I really love the interweaving of styles. It like for this particular section, it's like every four measures, it changes genre. Somehow it still ties up together and it's beautiful. Damn it, that is beautiful, what a bop. <laughs> Genius even.
By the way, don't forget to check part one of my Pizza Tower video series if you're looking for your favorite track. All right, here we go. Unexpectancy part three. You've all been asking for it. Now you got it. <laughs> that is literally me just noodling on the electric guitar. We got a purely electric guitar section here. <laughs> there it is again, the Rick Roll drums. That is a very 90s lead guitar style. Oh my god, and it all goes together in this section. Oh my god, what intensity, what danceability, oh my god. <laughs> this is almost megalovania like. <laughs> <laughs> Again, what a genius it is to be combining chip tune sounds and electric guitar. What a total vibe. I'm so into it. Oh my god, that lead guitar, that could have been a guitar solo from an Aerosmith song from the 90s or Guns N' Roses. So 90s, late 80s sounding, I just love it. Yes, oh my god, go, you go, lead guitarist. What? Key change, what a build up. So it went back to the motif from the intro, but with a like a fade in and sudden drop, key change.
This is just insane. It's insanely good, but still insane. Oh my god, I really love how the composer is very respectful of chord progression and harmony. It's done in a very tasteful way, in a very clear and concise way. It's pleasant to listen to, but it's also very smart composition, very smart songwriting. That is like pure, unadulterated techno metal, if you ask me, and I am just so into it. I love it. <laughs> This is just kick ass. So good. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed exploring the unique ingredients that make up the song Unexpectancy. And for more of my pizza-fueled content, click here.